Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica with Memory Box Candle Co. And I make videos all about the journey of starting a candle business. In today's video, I just wanted to update you all that we are now a top shop on FAIR. I'm so excited. We worked so hard to get here just from July until now. Um, just a ton of work went into it on the back end. And then of course, a ton of work goes into production. And I'm keeping Chris very busy all the time with the orders that are coming in from FAIR. Um, so very, very excited about that. Um, I wanted to show you real fast just the front page of of the fair shop that you can see top shop right here so exciting um, now what I find interesting and they're probably gonna have to update this um, because they actually changed the requirements for what you need to be a top shop I did tune into their webinar that they um, put on a couple weeks ago um, but they also have it um, at this part of their of the back end as well where you're able to see the new top shop requirements and Topshop is basically just it, um, and what it says right here. So it's basically just uh, you get to be promoted a little bit more. Um, and actually, you know what? <laughs> I think it's down here. It says Topshop benefits. So stand out in search, draw attention to your products in search uh, results with the Topshop badge. So that is what this is right here. It's a little Topshop badge. Um, I love seeing that. Oh, and it's right here too. That's so exciting. Sorry, I'm so excited. <laughs> this is so exciting. Um, it says attract new customers, give potential customers more confidence in your shop's quality and reliability, and then celebrate your success. Use customizable social media templates to recognize and celebrate your team. Um, I haven't checked that out yet, so that'll be really interesting. Um, we did already get, um, actually our Four out of the last five orders that we've received have been new shops, so that's really exciting. We've had two orders so far today. Um, one of them is a brand new retailer. The other is a uh, repeat retailer that have that is ordered from us before. Um, but this is the front, or this is what our fair shop looks like in case you're curious. Um, I am actually going to be going on here to update it and add on new scents for our wholesalers. So there are just only a few scents that we have on the retail website that we don't offer yet on fair, but that is going to be changing because those are more of kind of the, the spring summer scents. So for instance, we don't have Sunday brunch, the snack box, Malibu Creek Trail, uh, safe Haven or Seaside Flowers on there. So all five of those scents are going to be a part of the spring and summer scents. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be creating that collection. So um, if we go up here, you can see the different collections. So we'll check this out just for a second. So you can see I organized everything and this just helps again the real uh, retailers be able to see everything and know what they're looking for. So I have it organized by the scent notes and then I also have it organized by kind of the theme or the collections of like fall winter. So I'm gonna do spring and summer and then also by products as well. Um, and that you know just helps the retailer be able to see it better. I think it helps to organize it. That's what I'm working on in my Etsy shop right now too. I know that it's a little disorganized. I had a bit of an issue with the connection of the app, but I realized it was just a feature that I needed to adjust. Um, it kept reverting back to uh, what I have on my Shopify listings instead of what I created for the SEO title for Etsy. So it was a little frustrating, but I actually figured that out. So I'm not having any issues anymore. So um, so yeah, this is uh, now the new criteria that you need. Um, so I went in and they actually just updated this. I had to go in and um, basically let them know that I do have my full catalog of all the products that we offer from our retail website. I have that available on FAIR for wholesale. So at first that said 30 points, um, but now it says 110 points. So that's, that's pretty exciting. Um, so criteria, 100 points. Um, you have to fulfill five orders, um, which you know, that's that's gonna be totally fine. Um, we haven't yet shipped out an order yet this year, so that's why um, that has come in from the new year. So no orders that came in on the first have been shipped out because today is just the second. Um, and we do have, as of right now, I had to up the processing time a little bit back 
you know, towards the holiday season, I think it was back in November, I changed it from four to seven business days. I changed it to eight to 10 business days. And that hasn't seemed to slow down sales at all, but it just helps give Chris a little bit more time to make everything. And especially with the fair market we have coming up, I may bump that up a little bit. I'll go over it with him. He's very confident and it's wanting to keep things as quick as possible. Um, and that's actually one of our best reviews is talking about how fast and how quick things are shipped out. Um, all thanks to Chris, definitely. Um, he's very, very on it when it comes to getting things ship made and shipped out. Um, and then they actually changed this. So if you look over here for a top shop, it says have a 4.5 plus star rating and they changed the criteria to be 4.8 or higher, and they removed the reorder rate. So I understand why a lot of fair um, brands were probably not the happiest when it when it came to the reorder rate, because I believe it was at 15%. Um, and it can be challenging getting retailers to reorder from you, especially depending on what your products are. Candles can be a little bit, I think of a higher sell through rate because people go through them relatively quickly. So people are wanting to purchase more. But if you're selling things like, I don't know, like t-shirts or um, body wash or something that's going to take a little bit longer to go through, um, it may, you know, be harder for, uh, to be able to achieve that reorder rate. So I understand why they took that off. So, um, this is not updated yet because again, there's not a lot of things to show because we haven't shipped out the first order of the year. Um, but we need to have 10% or less for late shipments, 3% or less for canceled orders and 3% or less for missed items. Um, so that is what you need to do in order to be a top shop. So I'm sure we'll be totally fine with being able to qualify for that for March. Oh, I said May, I meant March, um, quarter. <laughs> three months, not five months, a quarter is three months. Um, so it's from January 1st to March 31st. So the next time that they're gonna take a look at our situation and determine if we are still a top shop or not is going to be March 31st. Um, so yeah, I'm just really excited. I loved being able to share kind of uh, the process of getting back on fair, what I thought I did wrong the first time, how I improved, and I'm just so, excited for the year to see how much we're going to grow on fair it is it has helped the business so much um to be able to grow and that income coming in from fair it did take a little bit to kind of catch on um you know with the i think it was 30 days or something so when you get a sale and you ship the item it's 30 days from the day you ship it that you get paid so in the beginning it definitely is something that you're like come on like i'm just waiting for that money to come in um but now that it's consistently hitting the bank account it's just so much easier to be able to reinvest back into the business um, and really try to grow as much as we can because you know we're just trying to grow as much as we can in 2024 and as i said before in my goals video growing on fair is definitely um where we kind of want to take things and our main focus as of right now is for wholesale um, and i think having uh the top shop status is going to really really help us as well um and just trying to improve all the time uh and add videos oh chris said something about adding videos he told me something about that they want you to have like four photos and a video or something like that, uh, which again, I'm looking to improve the listing photos even more. Um, and I definitely want to add videos to all of the listings. Um, it is a little time consuming, but I think it's worth it. So I definitely want to do that. And then I'll end today's video by just showing you the analytics. Um, so the total order volume, this is gross sales, not profit, gross sales, uh, $26,946, conversion rate 3.7, 3 uh, sell through rate is 100%, and then five star ratings. Um, so, okay, so total orders, okay, so yeah, about actually 10%. So about 10% um, of the people or of the orders we've gotten feedback on um, that have left us a review. So this is really interesting seeing kind of all the changes. And I knew actually 
that once December hit, I actually wasn't really expecting a lot of sales to come through because I was thinking, you know, they're probably, you know, we had received all these orders over here in like the October and very early November, um, even mid-November right here, just getting ready for the December sales. And then now I think people are starting to think about more of like the spring sales. Um, we have a lot more of our spring you know, florally beachy scents that are being sold and a lot of orders. So a lot of like the linen and sea salt, which is our trips to nowhere, um, gardenia, that one's being sold a lot actually. I only give that look because that scent now is starting to be like, uh, to me. Um, uh, but I know a lot of people like it, so that's all that matters. Um, so yeah, here is just all of the information, um, top selling items is the large cedar and eucalyptus and the vanilla and coffee bean. Um, so cedar and eucalyptus, that is the beech wood from Flaming Candle, and then vanilla and coffee bean, that is the uh, espresso from, uh, from Midwest Fragrance Co. So yeah, I love giving you updates and this is a really, really good update. So I can't wait to update you even more once we do the winter market, um, maybe even have Chris record a little bit uh, and show a little bit more behind the scenes on how that all works and everything if you're interested. Um, but with that, I am going to end today's video right here. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave it a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Memory Box Candle Co. And I will see you in my next video.